A judge denies requests to reduce the bonds for three suspects charged in connection to a Louisville toddler's murder. 16 month old Naraya Miller's great grandmother was in court this morning. Our Annalisa Gale is live from the Judicial Center with reaction to the judge's decision. Annalisa. Good afternoon, Karen. Naraya Miller's great grandmother walked out of the courtroom relieved by the judge's decision, but concerned that a fifth suspect is still on the run after several months. It hurts a whole lot. You know, this is not a situation. It hurts a whole lot. You know. As Sherry Miller sat behind the four men charged with murdering her great granddaughter, she remembered the good time spent with 16 month old Naraya Miller. Naraya was shot and killed in August on 37th Street. Her mother was also shot but survived. Sherry was pleased with the judge's decision not to lower the bonds for Michael Dunn, William McLemore, and Demarcus Tramber. Trey Anderson did not request a bond reduction. This is the discovery that I have provided in this case. Right now it numbers 570 pages. With these amount of charges that they're facing in the penalty, I don't think that bond is too high. I think a $500,000 bond, full cash is reasonable. The three suspects' attorneys argued that they were not a flight risk. Dunn and Tramber requested home incarceration, and McLemore requested a $10,000 bond. The fifth suspect, Dewan Mason, was not in court. An arrest warrant was issued in January. We are seeking any information in order to locate him for the purpose of having him face this indictment. Until Mason is caught, Naraya's family says they will not have closure. We just praying and hoping that he do turn himself in so that we can go on. Karen, the suspects are due back in court next month. Investigators believe Dewan Mason may have changed his appearance. He also goes by the name Gada. He is considered armed and dangerous. Live outside of the Judicial Center, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News.